Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is replacing the front brake pads on the Kia Picanto. Um, I don't know whether you've uh, recently seen any of the other videos on the uh, on the Kia where I've replaced um, suspension springs, brake hoses, track rod ends, all that good stuff. If you want to see them, then have a, have a look through the channel and uh, and just select them. Um, as I said, in this one, we're going to be replacing the, uh, the front brake pads because they are quite low. Um, I'm surprised they've actually... Uh, Surprised we're actually doing any braking, to be perfectly honest at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to whip the caliper off, pull the pads out, swap them out, and uh, take you along for the ride. Thanks for stopping by. Okay then, to get the caliper off, what we need to do is remove the two slider bolts. We're not replacing the disc on this, so we don't need to remove the carrier, simply just the caliper part. So in order to do that, it's 14 mil spanner. Crack them off, they are tight, but they're not too bad. There we go, and then they'll come out quite simply. There we go, there's one. And there's two. All right then. Now, the caliper should come off fairly easily. There we go, just like that. What we'll do, we'll pop that up there. We'll, um, there's something we need to do on that shortly, but we'll do that in a minute. And then let's have a look at the let's have a look at these pads. They're quite they're quite tight in there, so they may need a little bit of general persuasion to get them out. So let's just give them a little tap. There we are. They're coming out quite easy now. And as you can see, there's not a great deal of meat left on them. Yeah, that one needs help as well. What we'll do, where the where the pads mount, we'll give a we'll give them a good clean out. Okay, come on, there, yeah, yeah, they've uh, definitely seen better days then. Right, so these little plates, these little spring plates, pop off, and as you can see, they're quite quite heavily contaminated with brake dust. So what we'll be doing is we'll be giving that a good clean. And the same with the one at the top, because at the end of the day, that's where the pads mount into and they need to be able to move quite freely. So if it's all dirty, corroded, and horrible, they're, uh, they're not gonna be as effective as they should be. So what I'll do, I'll get some, uh, I'll get some of my wipes, give them a good clean, and then uh, we'll come back to it in a second. Okay, so. Got a brand new pad here, and as you can see, the uh, the difference is quite uh, you know they're they're over twice as thick. So yeah, um, they'll uh, these brakes will do well to uh, have new pads. Right, what I've done is I've cleaned up each of these. I've given them a good wire brush and uh, a good wipe down, so these can now go back in place. One at the top. And, oh, let's go the right way up. One at the bottom. Push them in until they click. Come on, get in there. There we go. There we are. That's it. Right. Now then, fit the pads. Simply a case of getting the uh, the lugs to sit in here in these little recesses. go that's one in that's the first one and the inside one has this little bracket on it let's get it the right way around and there we are now this little bracket is actually there to be a wear pad sensor so you can when um, when the calipers fitted you can see this um, but when you can't see that, it means that they're due chains. That's the whole idea behind it. Right. Next thing we need to do is we need to prepare the caliper back uh, to go back on. Now, because the uh, the pads are new, the gap between the piston and the face of the caliper is too small. So that's not going to go on like that. What we need to do is um, put the uh, put the piston back into it, back inside its housing, 
and the way I do that was a set of Stilsons and just gently squeeze, gently squeeze it. And as you can see, the piston's going back in. Now, what is worth mentioning here, and I'm just gonna double check quickly, is that the level in the brake reservoir will raise as you push the piston in. And it's not so bad on this one, but on some, if you do this, you, the, the brake fluid can actually overflow out of the filler cap and end up all over the floor and all over the back of your engine. So you want to avoid that. Um, if, uh, if the fluid level goes over the max once um, the caliper has been refitted and then you've pumped the brakes to reseat the piston, um, if the if the fluid level is over the max, then just withdraw a little bit of fluid and uh, everything will be fine. Just use like a little syringe or something like that. Um, and yeah, everything will be good. So we've got the piston back in, back in where it needs to go. And then what we need to do actually is there, just make sure that the make sure that the sliders are nice and free. There. free as well okay right then let's get the caliper back on there we are seating where it needs to be get the top bolt in get it started get the bottom bolt in get it started get them up to touch Nip them up. And there we go. Right. All I need to do now is just uh, pump the brake pedal to reseat the uh, reseat the piston. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump the brakes now. And there we are. You can see, you can see the cuff are moving. And that is the piston reseated where it needs to be, up against the up against the pads, and uh, the brakes will work work nicely now. And there we go. Right then, it's important to remember to pump the brakes after you've done any work because otherwise, if you go and move the car, you'll um, you'll panic because you'll pump the brake, and because the piston is not up against the pad, um, you you won't have any brake in action. So make sure that you do that before you drive the car. It's highly important that you do that. Okay, well, I think we've, uh, I think we've flogged this to death. That's the, uh, that's the brake pad, front brake pad change on the, on the Kia Picanto done. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if, you, uh, if you found it useful, then please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.